This is a basic introduction to network equipment and network math. Imagine your home network with three computers connected wirelessly to an access point. The wireless computer network interface on each computer connects to the wireless hub. Your hub is connected to your DSL or cable modem, which is a network router. The purpose of the router is to connect your home network to another network such as the internet through your ISP. The term hub implies that the bandwidth and signals are, are shared between its connected computers. If we looked at a school or business computer where the computers are connected by network cable to an ethernet switch, there is a difference. Uh, Ethernet is just the kind of network, but switch implies that the connections between the computer network interface and the switch are, are separate and isolated from one another, such that one computer cannot uh, detect the information going to another. Let's look at the network math that underlies these devices. My own computer has a bunch of network numbers, such as 001FF356086E, which is my computer's Ethernet MAC address. That means media access uh, control. All computers connected to the internet have an IP address in dotted decimal notation, such as 192.168.1.103. The first part of the address is the, the network address, 192.168.1. The 103 is my device address. All net, uh, internet computers have a subnet mask, in this case 255.255.255.0. The purpose of the subnet mask is to allow your computer to tell which part of the IP address is the network address and which part is the device. And your computer needs a router or gateway address to know which is the way out of your network to the internet. They often end in one, and notice the similar network addresses 192.168.1 on my own IP address and the router. Your computer will need a DNS server as well, mine is 71.242 and so on, and that tells me among other things that the DNS server is on a different network and the, it's on device number 12 of that network. Three numbering systems are used in networking. Uh, computers understand only the binary system, base 2, which just uses the numbers 0 and 1. We humans are most comfortable with decimal, base 10, the numeral 0 to 9. And midway is the hexadecimal number system, base 16, using numbers 1 to 9, and then A, B, C, D, E, F as numbers to take it up to uh, base 16. The computer understands binary, humans, decimal, and hexadecimal is a bridge that both can use. Let's, let's take a closer look at binary numbers. The binaries are in yellow. And you'll see the green arrows show when a new column is created. So we have a ones column, a twos column, a fours column, an eights column, instead of our more familiar ones, tens, and hundreds. And notice how the binary numbers uh, rise. See if you can figure out what the two missing numbers would be. What will 7 and 13 be? And we'll see those on the next slide in a few seconds. How did you do? Did you just add 1 to 110 and get 111? And add 1 to 1100 and get 1101? Let's take a closer look at hexadecimal numbers. They're in yellow, and the first nine digits are the same, 0 to 9, but when we get to our decimal number 10, it's hexadecimal number A, and then number B, number C, up through number F, it's its highest digit, which is our decimal 15. If we have to count higher than 15, we need a second column, which is the 16's column. Let's see how these numbers are, uh, let's look at equivalent numbers in the three systems. White is binary, yellow is hexadecimal, green is our own decimal numbers. And notice our decimal numbers, uh, 0 and 1 are common. Um, but look at the other standard numbers in these systems. They're not what we would call round numbers, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. They're all 
powers of two. Uh, those powers of two in hexadecimal are nice and even. Uh, our number 16 is one zero, our number 32 is two zero, our number 128 is eight zero. And uh, there's a special meaning to 255 and FF, uh, which is that that's the largest um, two-digit uh, hexadecimal number, and uh, it's the largest eight-bit binary number. Now, what do we mean by a bit? A bit is, is one binary digit, a one. And one byte is eight binary digits, which uh, filled up are those eight ones on the bottom. Let's see how hexadecimal numbers are used on the web. Uh, in every web page we view as part of HTML color codes for R, G, B, red, green, green and blue. Uh, so the color black is the number 0000000, zero, 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 zero because there is no intensity of red, green or blue. The color red, bright red, would be FF for lots of red and 00, zero for G and B because there's no green or blue. Similarly, green and blue would have FF as their maximum color values and no, none of the other color. How do we get white? We get full intensity red and green and blue. Uh, the color code is FFFFFF. For gray, something like 50% of each, which would be sort of half intensity, 808080. Zero, eight, zero, eight, zero. And all the other colors are composed of some such combination, such as 80 for a dark, uh, dim red, 800000. Let's take a look at an IP address, which is composed of a 32-bit binary number. That's four groups of eight or four bytes. In this case, all filled with ones. They would translate to our decimal 255.255.255.255. That's where 255 comes from. It's a byte completely filled with ones. In hexadecimal, it turns out to be FF, nice and neat, even though hex is rarely used for IP addresses. A more common IP address has a mixture of zeros and ones. So while it's harder to read in decimal, I mean, in, in, in binary, it's easy to read in, in our numbering system, 254.127.1.15. And note that in hexadecimal and green, uh, a digit like one is, is prefixed with zero, zero one or 15 zero A. Uh, hex is typically shown as two digit combinations. Well, I think this is enough for network math for now. And until next time, happy networking.